Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Burnout 2. This is gonna be the final video of this championship mode. So let's get started with Face Off 4 in the gangster of all things. Yeah, the acceleration is a little bit lacking, but I'm gonna challenge myself using this car. If I can't win this event in this car, then I'll use this car for the final event and we'll go from there. So let's see how we can do against this car, which is probably going to be the fastest car in the game. So yeah, how about that? I'm not sure if we're going to be able to beat this guy. I might have picked the wrong car. Yep, all I can really hope for is him crashing the car, but he might also be a good driver, so who's to say really, but I do have an advantage, somewhat, of basically using the burnout function and chaining a lot of burnouts together. Although it didn't work that time, but here we go. Now we can really get the chain going. You're not gonna win against this guy by just racing normally. You gotta have the burnout. Three there. I don't know if I can catch up to 13 like I did with the previous attempt at this track with the Oval Racer, but whoa, don't hit that. <sighs> Stupid fat wide ass buses get out of my way. There's three laps. Boy oh boy. Come on. Let's get moving here, we gotta catch up. I am not going to let him stay ahead. Come on, Carl. This is ridiculous right here. Go. Go, go. It's a go-go time. Didn't you know? Whoa, don't hit nobody. No. No. <laughs> Stop with the graphical glitches, Zedusha. I really hope it's the game doing that, but I don't know. Maybe it's an HDMI cable, but the HDMI cables I'm using are good cables, so I don't know why that would have an effect, but hmm. I'll, there it is again. Wow. I really need to invest in a retro tank. Maybe the HDMI on the Jadusha is not as great. I don't know. I do. I'm. If you guys didn't know, I am actually trying to play through Outlaw Golf number one, and. I just finished the first event, even though it took me a little bit to do in that one because in Outlaw Golf 1 compared to 2, it's harder to get a high score, so. But in that game, you can be Jadusa, there wasn't as many graphical glitches like this game has. And I was using the M Classic, and that one wasn't too bad, but I don't know. I ought to try the Gedusa and the M Classic out on some other games I have 
to see whether it has anything to do with the producer itself, or the game, or the actual Xbox itself. Maybe I gotta try using this with my 2005 Xbox, even though it graphically would be a little worse than the 2002 Xbox. I don't know. We'll see though. No, don't hit that guy. He is still there, but as long as we keep doing burnouts, we should be good. Second one there. Well, that's the third one in a row. The fourth one. Nope. We didn't get a fourth. Oh my god. Here we go. Nope. Boop. Don't get in my way, people. I said don't get in my way. Come on. Get off the wall, car. What is with cars in this game and walls? Come on. Nope. Come come on, car. Move. Yes, he crashed. Good. That car can suck it. I don't know where he is, but who cares? We won. All right. Whew. Okay. So it doesn't really matter what car you're using. If you're not using the burnouts and training them left and right, you ain't gonna win. Unless they crash a lot, but mm. 32, no, that's my high score. Okay, I didn't even tie it. Stop with the graphic stuff, come on. Hmm. I still haven't tried it with the AD to HDMI converter, but we just have the last, last event, so we're good for that. Win this race to unlock the custom series championship. And yeah, we're gonna be using the special, uh, not not special, the supercar in this one. And yes, you guys do want me to do the crash mode and pursuit mode and custom championship mode as well. So we'll try to unlock all the cars at least and go from there. But yeah, we got the yellow and blue. We got the red, the speed X, Liberty. We got a green and red, so a little Christmassy color combination going on there. And what appears to be very light blue with dark blue. Hmm. I don't know. I'm feeling a little Christmassy now. Even though it's not that time of year, we're going to use it. And this is the best color in the game. So acceleration and speed is way up there. The controller is pretty good. It is faster than the Supra. Although the Supra has the most control out of any car in the game. That's interesting. Alright. Let's go. We got this. Although maybe the car we unlock here would have the most control, but even then we got other cars to unlock in the other modes, so who's to say which car has the best control? Whoa. Whoa, this car can go up to 12,000 RPM? Really? Well, more like 11.3. Ah. 11.2, let's say that. 11,200 RPM. That's a lot. Pretty high 
RPM can this far, which means that you can get the power to go quite a bit higher in this one. But let's see. Stop with the graphical glitches, my god. Whoa, don't get in my way. I will kill you if you do. This has pretty good con control, I will say that. Although it would be nice if the cars can stop hitting the walls every time, but... For going through corners, this car is pretty dang controllable. And it, it's not as sharp turning as the Super, which is pretty nice will you stop getting in my way? What is wrong with you people? These traffic cars don't know how to get out of the way. They would prefer to die. I don't know what it is with these people. You'd think they would learn, but no. Whoa! Ho 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 ho! Another one, good job. Let's see if we can keep this up. Come on. Nope. Stupid boss, get your fat ass out of my way. You ruined my burnout combo. How dare you. I don't, I don't even know where that guy is. Is he even close? I don't see him behind me, so he must be pretty far behind. He is, at this moment, 5.8 seconds behind, so he's probably a couple blocks away. Wow. Whoa. Really? Wow, that was a bunch of flips. Okay. Oh, there he is. He's still not gonna win, though. He is not as fast as this supercar. So sad. Alright, last lap. Let's see if we can beat 56 seconds. It's even surprising that even with that holy crap number of barrel rolls that this car was able to still beat the second lap time. But we should be good now, as long as we don't crash. And there we go. Wow. Just about nine seconds faster on that last lap. That was pretty good. Okay. Woo! Not really much of a very fast car for the final event, but I'll take it. Completed the first championship season. We can now enter the custom series championship, and we got the custom compact. Who in the hell are you? Must be part of the Criterion team. There we go. Alright, that's the credits for this game. With different pictures of the crew that worked on the game. And there we go. Okay. So yeah, my first experience with this game. My favorite in the series is still Burnout 3 Takedown. And that will always be my favorite. Burnout 2 is basically the game that set the standard for 3 and Revenge. Crash mode? I don't know what to say about that because it is a separate mode and we will be doing that next. But uh, I don't I don't know. I think I'm going to be alternating between class mode and pursuit mode and custom series championship. We'll probably do one or two events per mode and alternate from there. But uh, I think, yeah, to me, class mode and Bono 3 is the best. In Revenge, we do have the... Crash mode come back with a little more explosiveness, I would say. But Burnout 3's crash mode with the pickups and the 
the heavyweight vehicles going through childhood playing Bruno 3's craft mode. That was the most fun I've had playing a burnout game. Especially using the fire truck, the bus, and all that stuff. It was just a lot of fun. Blowing everybody up on the highways and everything. <laughs> but yeah, so far in regular championship mode, it was pretty cool. It, it was frustrating at times, especially with the stupid CPU blue car. That guy was a pain in the ass. But yeah, I didn't care for the Alpine track as much in this game. It, it was much better in the next game, but yeah, this game is pretty good so far. It's n even even when I finish the playthrough here with the other modes, it is still gonna be third or fourth in the favorite list. Burnout 3 number one, Revenge number two. I don't know about Dominator though, or Legends, but I don't know. There is Paradise, but I'm not really that big on the open world Burnout game. I have played some of it before, but I've never completed it. I don't really know how to go through the game completing it 100% that well. But I just prefer the world tour in Burnout 3 and Revenge much more than Paradise's campaign system. But that's just me. I think the credits are just repeating itself over and over again. That is a first. But yeah, here we go. Custom series. There's class and pursuit. Alright. Hmm. This car is the same as the driver red car, but with more speed. Hmm. Really? Alright, we got the red with the turbine right there. We got yellow with the blue splash vinyl, it looks like. We got blue with the turbines and silver with the black and yellow Pikachu-like splash vinyl. Hmm, interesting. Alright, so yeah, that is it for championship mode. Next time, we're gonna go to class mode. Like the video if you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time for that. Later.